हेलो एवरीवन मेक एस जस्ट रिलीज एन अमेजिंग ऐप फॉर कैनवा यूजर्स एंड राइट नाउ आई हैव गॉट लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट टू जनरेट बल्क डिजाइन फॉर सोशल मीडिया पोस्ट ऑटोमेटिकली लेट्स चेक आउट द पॉसिबल इंटीग्रेशन इन मेक लेट मी सर्च फॉर कैनवा क्यूकली I see create a design. Let me connect create a design. Okay, uh, I'm looking to auto fill a uh, template. Oh, I don't see any template option or auto fill. Uh, my bad. Let's see for any other modules. Uh, no. Let's go for and make an API call then. Yeah. So make an API call will help us to call any available endpoints. Let's search in Google. Okay, I see the API. Oh. to use the autofill apis we need canva enterprise oh bad that's terrible let's let's apply for canva enterprise quickly yeah let's see okay they are asking to contact sales let's fill the form let me give the request to use canva autofill api let's submit cool guys so i have submitted for enterprise plan of canva let's wait enough delays no response from canva since 3 days i'm tired what happened to my automation logic why should i spend money on canva enterprise for this api alone do you have any idea just think yeah i have got a great idea so that let's make it happen without canva enterprise plan are you ready let's kick off let's use this canva automation to boost our instagram page yes Using the autofill idea, we can create n number of posts in Instagram or other social media similar to Alex Mozi. Just we need to change the text with powerful quotes so that we end up with lot of interaction like likes and comments in our Instagram page. So, firstly we need to go to Canva. Here our first objective is to choose the right Instagram template. So, I have chosen a couple of them so you can see one here. then second one yeah so success starts with every challenge yeah so the main objective as i mentioned the idea starts here so here the test is in a test box so we can remove the test box and get the output downloaded so here let me avoid this and delete this as well so i just made a quick one by editing the previous template i remove the test box and just put our logo Uh, instagram id and the instagram name and the test box is not present right so we need to input a dynamic test from open ai or from any other google sheet over here so that is the idea so let's download this uh, this template so we can go here and download okay uh, yeah so this is getting saved now let's move to the step 2 so here in google drive we are going to create a powerpoint yeah i mean google slide so just uh, start a new google slide so here is a slide and be very careful about these steps so that helps us to avoid the canva enterprise option yeah so just coming here go to file go to page setup here you can choose custom so this is the option magical option where you can change resize your uh, template as per the social media so we use instagram so choose the uh, conditions i mean the uh, pixels as per instagram post if it goes to facebook choose accordingly so i'm going to pixel option and selecting 1080 1080 just uh, click apply now our template is ready i'll remove this uh, these extra objects now let us insert the image downloaded from canva so let's go to insert option image upload from computer let's put the image yeah so our image is there there is some uh, gap between the uh, main layout so just expand just uh, resize it to fill the gap yeah so all good now as mentioned we need to create dynamic test so we need a test box so let's go here add a test box so the test box is ready 
and let's type in something like here is a powerful code and now let us change the font and font size etc so i'm going to more okay i can see one montserrat option so this looks good montserrat so i'm selecting semi bold and let me make it italic and maybe 22 is good in size yeah so i just put it uh, let me see if the color is black maybe black is good yeah so sounds good right now let's change the test to a sentence uh, to a word or an identifier for automation so here we are going to replace with quotes right so i just mentioned quote you can use your own variable and just put these in curly braces so it should be double curly braces yeah so now our template is ready few more things uh, before we proceed just name the template the uh, google slide something like m square demo you can use your own name and then just right click the uh, slide and use skip slide this is very important you should choose the option skip slide so once this is done uh, just save it and now let's go to the drive i think you can see the file here just refresh the google drive yes so we have the m square demo all set let's go to make platform yeah so i'm going to make platform this is a logical scenario developed in make to solve our issue yes so this scenario will boost our instagram by autofilling the template we generated from canva so if you are new to make don't worry guys as mentioned in our previous videos you can use our sign up link to get 10000 operation so watch for the sign up link in description and in comment so let's start with a uh, set variable so here you can see set variable module you can see under tools so you can put up some topics uh, maybe ideas that is related to your business so like why to automate business process i have chosen these kind of topics top reason for implementing automation impact of ai automation reason for business failure so these are the topics i have chosen and just mentioned in set variable module yeah now i will use the ai brain that is the open ai to generate the code so you can see the open ai module or uh, just search for open ai and you can see create a completion module yeah it's already explained in our previous videos so here you can select your model and system in system you can mention you are a helpful code generator yeah and user is a main part where uh, we can customize the user like as per our need so i just mentioned create a powerful quote from eminent personalities for one of the below topics the topic comes from set variable and there are some rules that we have mentioned like choose random topic uh, do not use unwanted double quotes or extra symbols uh, and also make sure that the quote is not greater than 20 words so just put up all these conditions strictly and we are ready to proceed further okay now it's time to connect the google slide module so we have prepared the google slide so we created the template from canva we just need to change the test in the test box right so you can search google slide and you can use the module create a slide so see here there is create a slide from a template slide so choose that module once you choose you need to add the connection and you need to select the drive and respective folder you can see the folder so m square magic and m square demo is a slide a ppt name and then we need to select uh, we need to map the result output from openai so just map this variable result so if you go to the google slide you change the code to some other variable like test you can change it now you come back and just refresh this so that you can see that identifier the variable has changed to test instead of uh, code so you can map here result under the test field yeah so both works fine that's up to you now let us analyze the flow so far so the set variable has list of topics or ideologies or ideas these are sent to the open ai it picks randomly so open ai brain works picks randomly from one of this and then create a code and this code is sent to the google slide module 
So what it will do, it will replace the test field where we have mentioned the variable and generate a new slide, right? So I, I hope it's understood so far. And now let's go and select another module known as get a page or thumbnail. So what it does, it gets the latest version of specified page or thumbnail of the page. So just open that module. Here you can map the presentation ID and the page ID and then you need to enable the option show page thumbnail. Yeah. So once that is done, uh, let's go here and let's run, run up to this stage. Yeah. I'll just show you. So let's see what will happen. So the set variable has run giving all the input, uh, white automate business, etc. Then the open A module will give the output automation transforms chaos into order, enabling businesses to innovate, adapt. Yeah, so it's a powerful code. And this is sent to in, uh, the Google slide module and it will replace it. And then finally, this get slide image, right? So this will generate a content URL. So I'll just show you the URL. You can see here. See, this is how it looks. A beautiful Instagram post. Yeah. So are we good? Let's proceed. Yeah. So now let's come back. We need to use the Instagram module. So there is an Instagram module, create a photo post. Yeah. So under Instagram, uh, let me show again. Instagram for business, you can see here, create a photo post. So if you use this, uh, you need to firstly add the connection as always, select the page. So under same account, there can be many pages, select the appropriate page and then map the photo URL that comes from the previous module. So you can see the photo URL here. So that is the content URL. So you can map this variable. Yeah. And then press OK. You can also provide caption if required. Yeah. So you have option to provide a caption or tag some users. Yeah. So those options are available. Now, finally, this uh, creation, uh, this process will create a lot of duplicate uh, slides in this template. You know, we don't want this to happen. So what I mean is once we run the process, it will create a, a new slide with the replaced test. It will keep on uh, increasing the size of the file. So in order to avoid that, I'm using another module that is add or delete a slide. So you can see here, add or delete a slide. So whatever the, sl uh, whatever the slide got created, we are going to delete it by mapping the uh, presentation ID. You can see here and the page ID. So page ID is nothing but the ID here. So presentation ID, you can see here page ID is the ID of the generated slide. Yeah. We are all set guys. This is a cool and powerful automation replacing canvas enterprise. So let's run this now. Open AI as process. Let's, uh, you can see the output of Instagram. So Instagram has a post ID, uh, generated out of it. Let's go to Instagram. So here, uh, okay. We can see the post. See here, automation transforms chaos in the order, empowering businesses to focus on innovation rather than routine. Is it interesting? So our post is here, guys. We started with a lot of confusion. How to proceed? What to proceed? We were stuck with Canva modules. Now we have beaten that using our logical power with the help of Make. Cool, right? Guys. To generate bulk Instagram stories or posts in a day, simply adjust the schedule settings. You can change the schedule settings to run every six hours to post four times in a day or as per your requirement. Cool, right? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to follow us and subscribe our channel. Ah, between we have started a cool community in school to talk about latest AI trends, solutions, make problems, queries, and share our blueprints. So let's pledge to build an automated world. Yeah, that's all for now. Bye-bye.